The school year is almost over for Jabal, but no one knows for sure if the school will open again in the fall. Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. The Jabal facility on Terrell's South Side has cut almost 10% of its budget, but that is still not enough. In tonight's Education Watch 10, Dan Klein explains how the fate of the school is still up in the air. Dan? Mark, one thing the executive director is adamant about, Jabal is not closing its doors even with state budget cuts. But she's not sure what the facility will look like this time next year. School is let out for the day at Jabal. It will let out for the spring semester this week. We are looking and hoping that we will continue to run our school on campus come fall. The school serves about 75 students with a wide range of learning and behavioral problems. Two things keep these classrooms in limbo. First is a federal lawsuit against the Indiana Department of Child Services. Madley says this suit should give her a formula for payments for different services. It will still mean cuts, but then she can better plan for how to limit the damage. We have to figure out alternative funding sources. We're looking at um, things such as, you know, what services are we permitted to bill Medicaid for. Second, Jabalt is appealing a decision made by the Vigo County School Corporation to not sponsor them as a charter school. As a charter, they would keep their accreditation and be able to get payments for the students they teach. Also, they could open the school up to others, helping offset budget cuts. Her worst case scenario, sending the kids who live here to public school. They've failed in public school prior to coming to us, so obviously we do not feel that is the best option for them. Jabalt made cuts of about 8% to their budget, which last year was about $6 million. Madley says any more will affect services to students. Mark, back to you. Thank you, Dan. Michelle Madley says negotiations are underway on the federal lawsuit. Jabalt is waiting for the state appeals board to set a date to consider the charter school request.